Hello. Welcome to today's video. Today we are going to talk about creating a digital exhibit. X. No, creating a digital art exhibit in the Unity game engine. So let's go. Art exhibit. I've been trying to build an art exhibit, but however, I've been trying to do that digitally. And as you can see, basically the definition or the meaning of an art exhibit is saying an art exhibit is a traditional space in which art objects meet an audience. This exhibit is universally understood to be some type of temporary, unless a rare, true, huh? as it, okay, to be temporary, period, unless, and that's it. So that's what I've been trying to build. And I've been trying to build that with the Unity game engine and with the unity game engine building it as if it's a game and interactive in a certain way such that more information is offered to the user about a specific art piece and the user or the what the player or the the viewer if i can say of the program will basically get um an interactive platform to view the art which is almost similar to what we get in real life however this one is what digitally so yes, instead of just putting an image out there, I wondered what if I place all those images uh, in an environment, same as a game or same as the digital uh, exhibit, which is traditionally known. So yes, I'll be using the Unity game engine, which is mostly used to create games and sometimes uh, non-game applications. I'll be using that to create this, which is uh, a non game application and it's it's a it's quite a fun project i just want to try it out and i'll put it out there probably as a web application uh yes probably as a web application to be accessed through the internet or maybe i can make it as a standalone program so people can install it however uh in future in future what future improvements or future versions of the of the software or the art exhibit i wish to make uh, to probably build a, a separate web application than the digital app, digital application, digital than um, I or anyone who wishes to customize it, they can just upload the specific images on the from the through the web application. I mean, uh, then they will be actually displayed on the digital exhibit. I think that's the direction which I desire to take. But currently, what I have is the images. I have to put them inside the game then actually rebuild the game so to avoid the process of rebuilding whenever i need to change the art pieces within the game what i'll do is i'll actually create a web application and yes currently the, the thing is it's not mainly about i think it is about it's not mainly about exhibition because i'm only showing paintings which are known to be all paintings like the mona lisa uh paintings yeah paintings like the mona lisa inside of the the game so i don't think it's much of an exhibit than an educational platform so what i'm going to do right now is i'll add more information about the paintings it's a history it's creator and uh, here's more details about that and let me just show you more what i mean and the current state of the app let me just press play so you can see uh how the app currently looks okay now as i wait for it to complete Hello. as you can see this is basically the current the current what the current state of the application basically it just shows the whole entire room displaying i have a couple of images for uh which moves towards the specific art piece for example if i was to go here okay if i don't think that would be any use but basically this is it currently and i don't have that many pictures within it but however, I will put more because right now I'm just working on the logic and the important concepts. Then after that, so I'll actually uh, change the art pieces and put different ones. Um, yes, instead of using uh, art pieces which are the same. And basically, what will happen is whenever you are, let's say there will be a menu, of course. Then you select the menu. Then obviously you'll be selecting a piece from that and art piece from that. Then it gives you more details about the art piece, its creator. And I'm hoping to put, I was hoping that the goals, in fact, I was hoping to put a narrator. I'm hoping. I'm currently, the current features which are in the app, basically I can view, I can view the art, yes. And I have included like animations, which are meant to be fun in a way whenever a user is viewing the art. 
and what else i have almost some few some few paintings paintings okay don't mind my inviting the intention is not actually to make this readable but to <laughs> serve as some um, instant subtitles and yes and what i'm going to do in the future is add more rooms Oh, create larger rooms. Yes. I'll create larger rooms and my, what I'm going to do, because right now you've already seen the images which I show. And what I want to do is I want the the game to present. Obviously, the view would be something like this, as you, you have seen there. And whenever you get inside of the game, it will actually show a menu. For that, you'd select the certain art piece. Then it actually moves towards the art piece, which is which is currently active, I, I think. But the, the problem being that I don't have different art pieces included. I only have the Mona Lisa and other paintings in the game. Is and and that's about it. So thank, so thank you for watching today's video. Okay, that's not a thank you. That's a thank you. That's a thank you for watching today's video. And see you on the next video. <laughs> and um, what I'm gonna do with these videos before I leave, I want them to be what less less choreo graphic choreographic as possible. There will be just me talking about the certain art, a certain software or something which I'm currently doing, then just displaying it, or explaining it, um, what in a manner which is unprepared and improvisant. So thank you for checking today's video. Uh, see you again on the next video.